Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom with a quick video to help you understand what file sizes mean when it comes to your data. It's a subject that confuses and intimidates a lot of people because of all the jargon, but the basics are really pretty simple. So with apologies to the Wizard of Oz, this video will help demystify kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes. Oh my. Let's start with some familiar stuff from the real world. A kilometer, as you probably know, is a thousand meters, and a kilowatt is a thousand watts. So kilo obviously means a thousand. Meters and watts are just units of measurement for distance and electricity. When you're storing data, the basic unit of measurement is a byte. Any character, like a letter, a number, a symbol, such as a capital C, the number 2006, or a plus sign, if it's stored electronically, takes up about two bytes. So that gives you a general idea of what a byte is. But of course, we're not usually saving individual characters. We're saving documents and pictures and music, things like that, which are made up of multiple bytes. A kilobyte, or KB for short, is 1,024 bytes. It's not exactly 1,000 bytes because computers use base 2, but you don't have to be that precise. It's much easier to think of it as approximately 1,000 bytes, or 500 characters. The next size up is a megabyte, or MB, which is roughly a thousand times the size of a kilobyte, which makes it a million bytes. Mega for million. The M's make it easy to remember. And a gigabyte, the next unit after that, is roughly a thousand megabytes, or a billion bytes. There are even bigger sizes after that, but you're much less likely to encounter them. And you don't have to memorize the exact sizes. The key thing to understand here is the relative sizes of these things. A kilobyte is the smallest, a megabyte is much bigger than a kilobyte, and a gigabyte is much bigger than a megabyte. To give you a visual idea of the comparative sizes, if this little box represents a kilobyte, then this is a megabyte, roughly a thousand kilobytes. And if that same little box represents one megabyte, then this is a gigabyte. Let's look at how this translates to files on a computer. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter what kind of device you're storing it on, whether it's a Mac, a PC, a phone, in the cloud, wherever it's stored, bytes are bytes. You'd naturally expect a one-page document saved on your computer to be a lot smaller, that is, fewer bytes, than a hundred-page document, right? And that is true. What many people don't realize, though, is that format also matters. If we look at the properties of this 100-page Word document, I'm going to blow these up so you can see them better, we can see its size right here is 106 kilobytes. But the exact same text, the exact same 100 pages, saved as a PDF document is 551 kilobytes. It contains the same information, but it takes up five times as much space because it's formatted as a PDF. So it's not just the contents of the file that makes a difference. It's also the format or type of file. Typically, document files are not that big compared to media files like photos, audio, and video. Those can take up a lot of space. For example, this photo is 2.7 megabytes. So this single photo is 2,700,000 bytes, while our 100-page Word document was just a little over 100,000 bytes. This two-minute audio file is even bigger, 4.6 megabytes. And this 20-second video is almost double that, nearly 10 megabytes. So you can see that the file size has a lot to do with what type of data you are storing. Lastly, this folder, which contains a whole bunch of files, is the biggest, over 1 gigabyte or 1 billion bytes. Having a basic grasp of the relative sizes of kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes is really useful in many different situations, like when you're running out of space on your computer and you're trying to figure out what you should delete. Here, for example, you might see the number 591.6 next to photos and think that they're taking up a lot of space. But that's less than one gigabyte. The trash, by comparison, is 24 gigabytes. So trash is taking up almost 50 times as much space as photos in this example. And you'd be much better off emptying the trash than spending a lot of time cleaning out your old photos. If you can just remember that KB is thousands of bytes, MB is millions of bytes, and GB is billions of bytes, you'll have a much easier time managing your storage. 
I hope this little video will help. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.mom videos.